sociological imagination, a concept introduced by C. Wright Mills, refers to the ability to connect individual experiences with broader social patterns and historical context. It allows us to see how personal troubles are often rooted in larger public issues. By using this perspective, we can better understand the experiences of others within the context of social structures, inequalities, and cultural influences. Although academic in nature, I firmly believe that the sociological imagination can cultivate empathy and reduce the blatant blame the victim mentality we see so prevalent in society today so long as we are willing to employ it. Many personal challenges like unemployment, mental health struggles, and poverty are not just individual problems, but are influenced by larger social, economic, and political factors. This awareness helps us empathize with others by recognizing that their difficulties may be shaped by circumstances beyond their control. For example, instead of seeing a homelessness as a result of personal failure, the sociological imagination encourages us to consider factors like housing policies, job market dynamics, and systemic inequalities. This fosters empathy by shifting the focus from blaming individuals to understanding the structures that contribute to their situation. By linking personal experiences to larger societal trends, we can better understand how socialization, culture, and institutional practices shape people's behaviors and choices. This recognition helps us empathize by appreciating that people's actions often reflect the norms, values, and constraints of their environments, which often counter what is right and just. A person who grows up in a low-income neighborhood, for example, may have limited access to quality education and job opportunities. The sociological imagination allows us to see how social forces like educational inequality and economic marginalization influence their life path, fostering empathy for the challenges that they face. The sociological imagination encourages us to move beyond stereotypes and assumptions about different groups of people by considering the larger social and historical context that shape their lives. This helps break down the us versus them mentality, fostering empathy by encouraging a deeper understanding of diverse experiences. You know, other people's experiences can be very similar to yours, but also very different from your own. This perspective encourages us to empathize with those who are affected by these systemic issues, so long as we employ it. The sociological imagination also extends beyond local context to help us understand global issues like poverty, migration, and environmental degradation as interconnected with personal lives and broader global systems. Empathy is cultivated when we see how our actions, such as consumption patterns or political decisions, affect people in other parts of the world. When we understand the global economic forces that lead to low wages in developing countries, we may develop greater empathy for workers facing exploitation and hardship, realizing that their struggles are linked to global inequalities. The sociological imagination enables us to become more aware of our own privilege, if applicable, and the ways in which we may benefit from social structures that disadvantage others. This awareness can foster empathy by encouraging us to reflect on the unfairness of these inequalities and to consider how we can advocate for more equitable systems. Someone who grows up in a wealthy household may not fully understand the challenges of poverty until they use the sociological imagination to see how wealth distribution, 
access to resources and social mobility are shaped by broader societal factors. And this understanding can deepen their empathy towards those living in poverty. When we view people's actions and experiences through a sociological lens, we're less likely to judge them based on individual actions alone, and more likely to understand their choices within a larger social framework. This shift from judgment to understanding is key to cultivating empathy. You know, instead of judging someone who drops out of school as lazy or unmotivated, we might use a sociological imagination to understand how factors such as family responsibilities, economic pressures, or a lack of support networks contribute to that decision, leading to a more empathetic result. By using the sociological imagination, we move beyond seeing the world through a purely individualistic lens and instead consider the complex web of social forces that shape people's lives. This broadens our perspective and fosters deeper empathy for the diverse experiences of others. Using this perspective is a choice and I wholeheartedly wish that more people would choose to do so instead of wallowing in perpetual ignorance and denial. Thanks for listening. If you change your mindset, you can change everything about your life. The way you see yourself, the way you see other people, <laughs> you can change the world. <laughs>